Do you need a smaller home in an all-ages park with nearby beaches, restaurants, pubs, and much, much more? Would you also like low lot rent? In this video, we will look at a mobile home in great shape that meets those needs. Stay tuned. In this video, we will look at an affordable mobile home in an all-ages park in Cocoa, Florida. The area offers beautiful beaches, pubs, restaurants, and easy access to nearby cities and attractions. The home is two bedroom, one bath, and I think you'll find the lot rent affordable. Hello, I'm Russ Watson. I help folks choose a Florida manufactured housing solution that fulfills their dreams and meets their needs. Let's dig in. Before we get started, I'd like to encourage you to join our inner circle. It's free and you get access to all these extra resources via the website, notices when new videos are posted, and access to new offers. There's a link in the description below. It's about 40 miles west from Cocoa to Orlando Airport. It's a little over 10 miles to the beaches with two bridges available. I-95 is four miles away and it's 28 miles to the Melbourne Square Shopping Center from there. Cocoa is a city in Brevard County with an approximate population of 20,000 and a total area of about 15 square miles. Historic Cocoa Village is on the south end of town and on the east end of the 520 bridge, which leads to the beaches. Local restaurants range from English and Irish pubs to down-home Southern cooking and classic barbecue. This is a thriving area with lots of local shops and interesting markets. In the north end of town, you can jump over the 528 bridge to Port Canaveral. Here you will find more restaurants featuring live music and waterfront views. Imagine just sipping a cocktail while listening to a local band and watching the cruise ships go by. You can also try your hand at a game of chance or some slots on board the Victory One. She sails once and sometimes twice a day. You can head offshore fishing aboard one of three charter boats in the port, or just bring your rod and reel and head to one of the parks. There's more fishing in Jetty Park, as well as the north end of the Cape Canaveral beaches. Just to the south is Cherry Down Park, which offers free parking. There are miles of public beach with lots of public access and lots of free parking. If you like a little room to spread out with no bumper to bumper traffic getting there, these beaches might be for you. Westgate Cocoa Pier is a little livelier with 60s style shops and restaurants. Of course, no trip to Cocoa Beach is complete without a stop in Ron John's Surf Shop. Pick up a t-shirt or even a surfboard. Golf courses open to the public include Cocoa Beach Country Club which also features a huge aquatic center and 12 court tennis facility. And just to the south is Rockledge Country Club. There are several others nearby. The Rockledge Regional Medical Center is about five miles to the south. Cape Canaveral Hospital is just over the 520 bridge toward Cocoa Beach. Veterans and active service military may also use the facilities at Patrick Space Force Base. Cocoa Estates is an old-fashioned mobile home park. There is no swimming pool and no tennis courts. What it does provide is a low-cost alternative to the very high-priced apartments, homes, and condominiums found in this area. Parks like this provide opportunities for those on limited income to live in areas they otherwise would never be able to afford. They also represent a bargain for snowbirds looking for a winter retreat that won't break the bank. 
The park is clean and has an on-site manager. Families and children are welcome here, and I'm sure there are some single parents as well. I think this is it here. Yup, there's the four-star sign. I wonder if Molly's here yet. Guess we'll take a look. Come in. Hello, Russ. Hey, come on out. Hi. Hello, how are you? Good, you? Doing great. That's great. Let's see the house. Come on in. Tell the folks who you are, Molly. Hi, I'm Molly Buck with Four Star, and I'm here to show you this home today. Wow, it looks like it's just been painted. The home has been freshly painted and is well maintained. A lot of natural light. The laminate flooring is nice. Do the appliances stay? Appliances are included. Nice. Let's go look at the bedrooms and bath. Is that another exit? Yeah, back door, bathroom. This bathroom's bright and cheery. Plenty of storage and a nice roomy shower. I think I'd put a curtain on it though. So this is the spare bedroom. This would be fine for a guest or perhaps a young child. It could also make a nice office. Plenty of closet space. And that takes us to the master bedroom. This is a pretty large room. Seems like an odd place for the electrical panel though. Huh. As I look around, I'm realizing there's no closet. Molly, did they remove the closet? The doors have been removed and they still have the closet for access. So you could put a closet back there? Absolutely. You could build some walls around it or you could just leave it open. Okay. Thanks, Whatever Molly. suits you better. And then the nice washer dryer. That's pretty nice. In a lot of these homes, you've got to use the laundromat in the park. Let's go take a look outside. Molly, I see the asking price is $32.9. Can you get financing for these homes? Yes, I do have many lenders that are financing at mobile homes and parks. So Molly, what's the lot rent here? The lot rent is $4.75 a month. What does that include? The lot rent includes sewer and trash. How about pets? Pets under 35 pounds. Same. Well, folks, shoveling a foot of snow or sitting out here with a cold one next winter? Your choice. What kinds of homes would you like to see? Just leave a comment below. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps the channel. And if you'd like to see more videos of this type, just click on the link. Thanks for watching and see you next time.